The McMurray Department of Theater has had a busy summer ahead of them with three great productions coming up, and we're so excited they're going to finally open their doors. Here to tell us more is Carrie Goff. Carrie, welcome today. Hi. Okay, I have to say, I have heard a little sneak preview of this, and I am so excited just listening to all that you have ready and lined up for this summer in their theater department. Mm -hmm. As a longtime attendee of the theater, this is exciting stuff. This is amazing. And some of the people performing you'll see on stage this summer, incredible. I mean, they're really kind of the greats of theater in Abilene. They are. In a lot of ways. We've got three shows this summer, three different venues on campus. We're doing Love Letters opens next week, May 13th through the 16th in Matthews Auditorium. Matthews Auditorium is essentially the old main theater. Right. Which probably hasn't had a production of theatrical presentation in there in 60 years. So we're really excited to put a show back in there, Love Letters, just two, featuring Dr. Steve Fanley and former state representative Susan King. And directing it is Abilene kind of theater legend Bob Strauss. Incredible. So, Those yeah. are three incredible, uh, incredibly talented people in their own right on the theater stage, much less in their regular day jobs, if you will. Yes. And so we're excited to be there next week. So we're kicking off. We haven't had three shows in the McMurray summer season in, a, in quite a while. Right. So we're resurrecting the three show summer. We go in June to Ryan Little Theater to do The Miracle Worker, which will feature children, which will feature more larger cats. Yes. And Nina McLean, who is a 1991 McMurray grad, who is back with us as a faculty member in the theater, is playing Kate Keller. But auditions are open to others. So we're, we're now bringing the community kind of back into sure. McMurray. I've been working the last couple years in showcasing just alumni and current students. Now we're getting the community at large involved in the shows. And but then, in, oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, but, but great that you're seeing some of those alumni, because there's a lot of people who have been on that theater stage mm -hmm. in Ryan Little Theater. And to see them come back and see them pick part in this. I mean, you have family ties. Mm -hmm. I have family ties. We have friends and family ties. It's pretty amazing. It's been very rewarding to see them kind of thrive. Our alumni is thriving on stage. All right, so that is the, the Miracle Worker in June. And then your third performance. In August, we are going to be in Radford Auditorium for Rogers and Hammerstein's Carousel. Interesting part about Carousel, we're working with the NOAA project to do a domestic violence awareness campaign with this show. Carousel's underlying themes are domestic violence. We want to kind of highlight what NOAA project does in Abilene. Wow. And so we're going to offer a few talkbacks after the production with uh, counselors from the NOAA project on stage to talk about just the themes of Carousel and, and unpack that a little bit and obviously highlight what NOAA project does for our community here in Abilene. And they do some amazing things. I, you know, I talked to Dan Cox just two days ago mm -hmm. and, and of course, they didn't close their doors during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. They couldn't close their doors. No. And so for you all to partner with them to mm -hmm. highlight domestic violence and to highlight the opportunities and the offer and all that there is that's offered out there for those victims is, is an incredible gift to give back, much less the performances as well. Mm -hmm. So we're three shows, we're three venues, but we're on one campus at McMurray, so it's kind of exciting. Three shows. The Summer Theater is back at McMurray this year, you guys. This is incredible. And like you mentioned, um, already Dr. Stephen Fanley and uh, former state representative mm -hmm. Susan King are taking the stage just next week. Next week, it happens. And so as far as buying tickets, you can go, you can find them on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. The links are there. You can go to our McMurray website, mcm.edu backslash theater. The ticketing link for Love Letters is there. We're going to be opening our box office again, finally, after COVID. It's all kind of been online, but now we're going to have our box office open again, so you can either come by or call starting Monday at 1 o'clock. It's our own mini Broadway right here in Abilene at McMurray Theater. Carrie Goff, thank you so much for your you. talent, for your insight, and for your your enthusiasm you. in bringing theater back. I cannot wait to see these productions. I know you have put your heart and soul into this, and I cannot wait to see what happens and how you continue to transform the theater world here in Abilene. Thank you. All right, you guys, if you want to come out, and you, you will want to come out for any of the shows, Love Letters is May 13th through the 16th. Tickets are $12. Miracle Worker will run June 15th through the 20th. Those tickets for that show, also $12. Then Carousel in August. That's the 5th through the 8th, also a musical, so tickets are $15. You can get more information or those tickets by calling the box office, the number on your screen, 793-3889, or go to mcm.edu slash theater.